people deluded i'm back again mo as usual hope you're doing well and safe and everyone else listening love for having me on your channel bro obviously we got three points in it like we got three points after seeing west ham drop points currently spurs are beating uh beating city but if city can turn that around and obviously leeds have united we've taken advantage regardless of what happens with other teams we've given ourselves a healthy sort of landing going into the wolves game i'm happy that firstly brentford's form has been poor against ever you know when we played everton their form was poor one of the only victories they picked up at the time was against us so we've picked up three points that we've needed we've not let these lot do the double i don't think you can say at this moment in time there's a winnable games but considering brentford's form and some of the other teams we have in our fixture calendar we need to pick up three points and now we can focus on wolves we'll have martinelli back tommy Asu should start in that game and all of these things i think you know obviously we're not going to get there overnight. We're still learning and things like that. I'd say in terms of improvements, regardless of the result, we're not, we're not Liverpool or City. Can we kill games like this in the first 10, 20 minutes, which we could have done in the first half and, and whatnot? We still need to work on breaking down low blocks. I know Smith Rowe and Saka love the Halen Demons for scoring, but we're still, you know, we kind of struggle to do that against Wolves. We huffed and puffed. We had long possession. You know, we had long bouts of possession. We had them in their own half, but we didn't really work Raya in the first half. And I would say just keeping our standards up as well, because I think we did kind of take our foot off the gas and it's kind of summed up with the goal we conceded at the end. And I, I am disappointed we never got a clean sheet. All I care about is the three points. I don't care how they come on we've got that uh, you know Odegaard ran the show Smith Rowe done amazing I think first Saka kind of went quiet in the second half for me even though he scored but first half that ball was always on I feel our midfield did well man to a man everybody did well really and truly um only real disappointment for me is no clean sheet but I'll take three points as they come again it is what it is where that's concerned really you know again would have loved more goals of course would have loved us to finish off the game the less said about refereeing decisions and referee things, the worse, the, 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 the better, really. We've all seen referees always do the worst against us, but it's nice to see that we're not harping on about that. We just got over the line and did our job. And it's as simple as that for me, Mo. We got three points, really. You know, all the things that we... Areas of improvements, uh, positives and negatives, these are things that have been ingrained in our team. So, yeah, it's nice to win. But now the focus starts on Wolves in the game after that and after that and after that, we've got 15 or so cup finals. So that's my thoughts. Appreciate you for having me. You know, make sure you're hitting the like button on this and every other Mo video and you're subscribing to Mo as well. One love to yourself, Mo, for having me on your channel. Anybody listening, appreciate you lot. Stay well, stay safe. God bless. Arsenal 2, Brentford 1. We go marching on. The bees got stung. <laughs>